For better or worse, this star is never short on roles. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best and worst Mark Wahlberg movies. You gotta keep puff faking that thing, or you're gonna take a shot, Brad. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the very best and worst movies in which Mark Wahlberg has appeared. In terms of how we're evaluating them, we're taking into account both the overall quality of the films and Wahlberg's performance. You give me one more chance, I promise I can fix it. John, I need a man, not a little boy with a teddy bear. Number 5. Worst, Max Payne This video game adaptation has now largely been forgotten, and that's probably for the best. <clears throat> it was not only critically panned at the time of its release, but also failed to resonate with fans of the popular third-person shooter franchise. Visually, the film seems to be going for a hyper-stylized approach in the vein of 300, Sin City, and Dread, but it's simply not very well executed. No pun intended. Mark Wahlberg, for his part, earned himself a Razzie nomination for his performance. He's usually pretty reliable in the role of the gritty, determined hero, but in this film, he feels utterly two-dimensional, a stock video game hero unworthy of the Max Payne name. Thank you. Number 5. Best, Lone Survivor Ooh. Super freak. That's Rick James, bitch. Based on the true story of a failed Navy SEALs mission, and adapted from a book by the same name, Lone Survivor has Mark Wahlberg playing warrior Marcus Luttrell. After their counter-insurgency operation goes sideways, Luttrell and his fellow Navy SEALs face insurmountable odds against Taliban forces. It's a riveting film, if at times hard to watch, as the men deal with increasingly severe injuries. Wahlberg has described this as one of his proudest and most rewarding films as both actor and producer, and his passion translates to the screen. His performance earned him widespread acclaim, including from the critic who matters the most, the man he was portraying, Marcus Luttrell. A part of me will forever be up on that mountain dead, as my brothers died. Number 4. Worst, The Corrupter Never heard of it? No. Lucky you. The Corruptor is an American action movie slash crime thriller that pairs Mark Wahlberg with one of Hong Kong's greatest action stars. Suffice it to say, they both deserved better. The film follows a new recruit, Danny Wallace, who joins the NYPD's Asian gang unit, led by Chow Yun-Fat's Nick Chen. So here's my advice. Quit before you end up dead. If you don't want to work with me, fine, let me do my own investigation. With rival groups feuding in Chinatown, they must attempt to keep the peace and resist the ever-present temptations of corruption and bribery. It's a compelling premise, but in execution, it's a buffet of cliches. Chow Yun-Fat and Wahlberg both give it their all, but they're held back by mediocre material and a director who seems to be operating well outside of his comfort zone. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Take away. Yeah. <laughs> Number 4. Best. Three Kings. Operation Desert Storm? I'm sorry. I need to know the number. The big army in the desert. Come on, it's an emergency. Released the same year as The Corruptor, Three Kings is a totally unique and all around awesome film. A war dramedy, the movie is directed by David O. Russell, with whom Wahlberg would go on to repeatedly collaborate over the years. Three Kings casts Wahlberg in the role of Sergeant First Class Troy Barlow, one of four soldiers. The others are played by George Clooney, Ice Cube, and Spike Jones, who embark on a gold heist in Iraq. Barlow is a family man who undergoes some rather drastic character development over the course of the film. I gotta go, Bird, I love you. Go. Managing to create moments of levity while navigating dark themes, Mark Wahlberg's performance in Three Kings solidified his reputation as true talent. Number 3. Worst. Daddy's Home 2. And this guy's raising your kids half the time? He hasn't seen his dad in a really long time. Though he might not be known as an explicitly comedic actor, Mark Wahlberg has some seriously funny performances under his belt. Sadly, his role in Daddy's Home 2 should not be counted among them, at least not in a good way. The first film was already a bit of a groan inducer, but it made bank at the box office, and so a sequel was inevitable. It's not Dusty's fault that he lets Adriana walk all over her. She does not walk all over me. Daddy's Home 2 upped the ante by bringing in Mel Gibson, John Lithgow, and John Cena. But as the reviews prove, going bigger doesn't always make for a better film. 
while Burke's performance earned the actor a Worst Actor Razzie nomination, while the movie was widely penned for a painful lack of laughs. What a waste of a talented cast. Nothing comes to mind, but if you want to say something, I'm not going to stop oh. you or anything. I'm good. Number three, Best, The Fighter. Well, I got light at I have a reputation for brawling, but I'm not gonna brawl with him. I'm gonna try it out boxing. Mark Wahlberg's third collaboration with director David O. Russell, The Fighter is a moving sports drama slash biography about brothers Mickey Ward and Dickie Eklund. The film was released to widespread critical acclaim, garnering seven Academy Award nominations and Best Supporting Wins for Christian Bale and Melissa Leo. Sadly, Wahlberg's performance was overshadowed by those of his co-stars. Hope this mismatch doesn't hurt his confidence. <laughs> Wahlberg admittedly plays Ward in a more reserved and understated way, but it's powerful acting in its own right. The role really allowed the actor to turn in an uncommonly subtle performance, one that showcases his range and knack for nuance. Wahlberg also served as producer on the film, giving him yet another reason to be proud of the fighter's overall success. Why can't you just shut up and be happy for me? Number 2. Worst – Transformers The Last Night Any longer, they snagged our location. You're a hell of a father, Kate. Don't forget it. Who could have predicted that the Transformers film that managed to add Sir Anthony Hopkins to the cast would be the worst to date? The man's an acting legend, and not even he could save this film from itself. I had my moment. As such, we're hesitant to lay too much blame at Mark Wahlberg's feet. One moment, that's all we got. The plot is needlessly convoluted, paper thin, and the robot fighting action more over the top than ever before. Mark Wahlberg is fine in the film, or at least no worse than his co-stars. The only thing we can blame him for is agreeing to participate in this sequel, despite Transformers Age of Extinction having been such a colossal disappointment. Then again, there are surely worse ways to make a huge paycheck. You are more important than you can possibly imagine. Number 2. Best – The Departed What's this got to do with me, huh? Why are you pretending to be a cop? Easily among Martin Scorsese's best films of the century, The Departed is a gritty crime drama set on the mean streets of Boston. It also bears the distinction of being one of the few American remakes of an international film that can rival the original in terms of quality. In this messy story of cops and crooks, Mark Wahlberg plays Sergeant Sean Dignam. And quite frankly, it seems as if the role was written specifically with the actor in mind. How about we just erase your file? Huh? How about that? How about we erase your file and then bang, you're just another soldier for Costello, open to arrest for I don't know how many felonies, huh? Dignam is a fast-talking, perpetually tense man who says what's on his mind and is quick to anger. He's always got an insult armed and ready. Wahlberg brings real depth to what could have been a two-dimensional character, and rightfully earned an Oscar nod for his performance. I get this, we got a guy working for the company two months, walks right out the front door with a box of processors on Tuesday, has a ticket book for Florida on Wednesday, but on Thursday, he gets found in a dumpster. Number 1. Worst – The Happening Hey, what do you mean? Where are we? Philbert, Pennsylvania. 2008 was not a good year for Mark Wahlberg. He appeared in two films. One was this train wreck of an M. Night Shyamalan film, and the other was the aforementioned Max Payne. As bad as the latter film was, at least it was forgettable. The happening, by contrast, was spectacularly bad. From its placeholder of a title to its B-movie trappings, everything about it feels like a parody of the filmmaker's past efforts. And I almost bought it. And I'm talking about a completely superfluous bottle of cough syrup. That's like six bucks. As for Mark Wahlberg specifically, he played Elliot Moore, a high school science teacher, and feels notably miscast in the role. If nothing else, he makes for a likable enough lead, but the character is just so generic by design that it earned Wahlberg a double Razzie nomination alongside Max Payne. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one Mark Wahlberg performance, here are a few honorable mentions. Wow, I gotta go even bigger than that since we're doing bad cop, bad cop. What? No, I said good cop, bad cop. I'm the bad cop, you're the good cop. I think you all are trying to run out of fuel as the wheels touch down. Running out of gasoline as the plane lands is not smart. Well, it's supposed to hurt. That pain's what's gonna save your life. Your cells remember where it hurts and that's where they get strong. It's called pain and gain, Rusty. Don't be a little bitch. And now for some dishonorable mentions. It's too soon to see, man. One on one. You're free now. Yeah, I'm looking for a Carl Fairbanks. I'm sorry, sir, but the commissioner hasn't set up his voicemail. May I take a message? We done here? It's 
not here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Best Boogie Nights I guess, well, I guess the only thing I can say is I'll promise to keep rocking and rolling and making better films. This is the film that really launched Mark Wahlberg into bona fide movie stardom and leading man status. Directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, Boogie Nights dives into the 1970s adult film industry. The story follows Mark Wahlberg's Eddie Adams, a teenage school dropout who, upon being discovered, becomes popular porn star Dirk Diggler. Oh, that's my boy. Hey, thank you. Let's do it. As his character evolves from shy to a headstrong prima donna, Wahlberg really gets to showcase his talent and versatility as an actor, making you believe the character every step of the way. Given the <clears throat> physical nature of the role, playing Elliot slash Dirk really demanded that Wahlberg lose himself in the part. It's an incredibly unselfconscious performance that holds up decades later. It's not right. It's not cool. It's just not sexy. I mean, it's not sexy like it should be, Jack. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.